everyone. This is my design for an open source ventilator for COVID-19 treatment. Um, it's based on a bag valve mask, which is this device here, also called a BVM or an Ambu bag. Um, these devices are designed to be sort of clipped with a mask like that and pumped by hand. Um, so what, what I'm going to do in my, my rig here is effectively replace the hand so that it's squeezing the bag for you. Uh, there is one thing extra that needs to be added to this. Um, uh, as a as a complete sort of medical system, which is which is a PEEP valve, uh, P E E P, which is a, a valve that connects to the exhaust down here, uh, which restricts the minimum pressure that um, that this can put into the lungs at any one time, and that's that's needed for COVID nineteen because you need to make sure the lungs are always completely fully inflated. Um, now, I, I, it's, it's definitely worth saying that I I don't see this as a as a solution that I would I would. Um, want anybody to rely on or would, would necessarily recommend and I, I kind of don't really want anybody to use it um, but but it should only be used in the situation where somebody's life is at risk due to the lack of availability of existing ventilators um, and through, throughout what we've been seeing we're, we're getting closer and closer to that to that point where people are getting desperate so I don't want people to be without any solution um, so uh, so this with a peep valve, um, the idea is it will strap into the rig like so. I'll show you how it goes in. So the, the oxygen pipe pokes through the, pulp, the hole here and the oxygen bag pokes through the hole as well. Um, and you just compress the, the BVM down into the, that sort of barrel which is how it, how it comes when it ships. Um, Poke the mouthpiece through the hole on the other side, and <clears throat> and stretch it all out, back into its normal shape again, um, and then I'll just switch it on. And on on the switch on, there'll be a few lights flashing over here to tell you that it's that it's starting up um, on the board, and it'll start going. So the way that it works is this motor presses down onto the bag using this long lever arm and it senses current. So current is a measurement of how much force is being pressed onto the bag. Um, and when it, when it reaches the right current level, then the motor knows to come back up again. Um, that current limit can be adjusted using this little dial here. So if I, I can turn it right down like that, and then uh, you, your stroke is much reduced. Um, as, you, as you see there, the stroke's really small. If I turn the dial right the way up, then the stroke goes down to, to its sort of largest that it can be. This can also be used to uh, sort of recalibrate for different motors. So if you've got a, a different motor that's got a slightly different speed or a different power, then you can sort of turn that dial. Um, and then without having to do any software reprogramming, you can you can sort of re retune it to do whatever you want it to do. Um, down on the, the UI down here, you can uh, change the frequency of the breath as well. So by pressing this button, you see that blue light uh, that comes on. Um, and that increases the frequency from 10 breaths per minute all the way up to 30 breaths per minute in one, one BPM increments all the way to the point when you see that red light and that's when it gets to 30 and doesn't let you go any more than that. Uh, conversely we can turn it all the way back down um, down to 10 and you see the red light and that's when it reaches that, that 10 BPM limit. Um, the way the whole frame is constructed is with these uh, captive nut and bolt arrangements. All, all this frame is laser cut from acrylic, but it can be laser cut from plywood, MDF, or, or even metal. Um, and it's assembled really easily and doesn't doesn't take and t takes sort of one or two minutes to assemble it because it's all it's all just nut and bolted together with these finger joints. Um, the way the motor is held in place is it looks kind of crude, but it's 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 really universal. Um, so it's attached just with a few cable ties through holes and then two jubilee clips. So it's a really strong way of making a universal motor mount that will work with any sort of shape and size motor within as long as it's sort of similar to this. Um, the motor arm is, is laser cut or can be handmade out of, out of a piece of aluminium. Um, and that, that's a bit of a limitation at the moment because, not, because laser cutting metal isn't as available as laser cutting uh, acrylic or plywood or something so I'm looking into different ways of doing things possibly with a, a 3D printed part and a laser cut part this one isn't strong enough yet but sort of looking into different ideas that might be more more easily available um, I'll just switch that off for a sec
Um, other things that I'm looking into for the future design is looking into the NHS um, specification for rapidly manufactured ventilators, which asks for alarm systems to be put in. Um, so if this device goes wrong, if the motor goes wrong, or if the pressure isn't right, or the airflow isn't right, having, having a sensor to sense things like that and then make an alert. Um, so I'm going to add a pressure sensor into the device, um, which will be tapped into the pressure waves that, that's going into the person's lungs. Um, and that will be able to sense if the pressure goes too high or too low, or if the breath frequency is wrong, um, then it can sort of um, flash some lights and, and make some noise and uh, um, make a buzzing noise on a buzzer to, to, tell, to tell if something's wrong. Um, I've also got my buddy Sam who's helping out with the code and making the code um, sort of cr uh, critically safe for um, safety, critical safety critical applications. Um, so looking into doing things in the right way in the code. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. But the, but the general the general idea behind this is to try and use um, components and parts that can be sourced really easily in pretty much most places in the world, um, and using a manufacturing process which which is pretty available as well. So la laser cutting is is fairly available, um, and the idea would be somebody can download my design from uh, Instructables, which is where I'm posting it, or from GitHub. Um, they can d download my DXF for the laser cutting, um, send that over to their, their their local laser cutting house and get all the parts back, assemble it in no time, uh, and then download my shopping list for all the components and, and things, fit them all together and then upload my Arduino code and it will work exactly the way it does here. Um, you might just need to make sort of a, a little adjustment on the current if you've got a different type of motor, but should work in, in, in just the same way. Um, so. Um, I'm going to upload this to uh, to Instructables to GitHub so that it's so that we can have sort of the open source community helping to work on it or reproduce it or um, if anybody wants to make um, a larger batch of these things because laser cutting and, and these processes they're not terrible they're not terribly manual so they can be uh, they they can be scaled up to to thousands potentially because it's all it's all sort of quite automated the processes that I've used to make this thing. Um, and yeah, I think that's I think that's 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 pretty much most things. Um, th th this would this would the idea would be this would sit maybe on the bedside or on the floor. Um, you'll have a, a tube that attaches from this all the way to the mask, um, and then a a soft Velcro strap to attach the mask to the face to make sure that it's always attached at all times. Um, and yeah, I guess that's I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll, I'll post links with things in the descriptions. Um, Give, give me comments, give me suggestions, any, anything you want. Um, I want to ideally hear from people who might potentially have to use this device uh, and, and, um, and any comments around anything that I need to add to this or anything that's missing or, um, or, or sort of ideas of where this might be suitable would be, would be much appreciated. Yeah, thanks.